I, I want a, a team that plays hard. I want a team that uh, plays together. Um, I want a team that uh, uh, is exciting to watch. I never go into any season talking about wins, talking about championships. Um, I think if you focus on, uh, you know, playing together and playing hard and having talent, then um, you know, we'll see what happens. But uh, for me, it's never something that uh, I talk about, uh, especially before I ha see any of the teams or have any idea what's out there. I think, I think it's important to play well at home. I think that's always something that's important. You want to play well at home. But the only thing I try to focus on is uh, getting the team to get better as the year goes on. I think in sports we have seen teams that um, you know have uh, peaked too early. I never want a team that peaks early. I want a team that um, uh, when we uh, hit uh, March and April and we look back at, at, at October that we're better. You know, sometimes that shows up in the win-loss record, sometimes it doesn't, but um, I think that's uh, the coach's job, to make sure the team continues to get better. Every team's different. I don't think you can use the same blueprint every year. Uh, when I see what roster we have, uh, then I will try to decide on how we will play. I'm not married to any style. I think styles uh, change as coaches, depending on the personnel that you have. So we'll see once we get the personnel in the room and, uh, you know, what they're like. Uh, to, to try to decide on how we're going to play. I think I've learned a lot from all the coaches I've played for. I've played for so many different coaches. Uh, I think there's two ways to look at it. I think you learn what to do and you try to learn what not to do. And I think uh, both can be very powerful. Uh, I feel like every day uh, I'm trying to get better as a coach. And, um, uh, you know, like watching a lot of game film, speaking to a lot of coaches. I think one of the things I like to do in the summer, I have a lot of friends in the coaching fraternity, is I like to spend a lot of time with them and try to get ideas on what we could use. Uh, as far as coaches to look up to, uh, you know, my college coach is a guy who's still coaching at the same place, Stan Spiro, and he's a guy that um, I really enjoy playing for. And I think the aspect of his coaching that I enjoyed the most was his honesty. Uh, you knew exactly how he felt about you. You never had to guess whether it was positive or negative. And uh, I think uh, for me, I'm striving every day to be honest with my players and to, to make sure that they uh, know where I'm coming from.